Three, two, one. Hey, yo, what up, what Boom. Up? All right, so check it. What I'm going to do, with a, I'm going to do a little separate series about medication. I get a lot of requests on medications and how to use and when to use and blah, blah, blah. I physically cannot tell you how to use anything. I can recommend. And then you can look it up for yourself on how to use it. I can tell you the medication in that scenario, what I've used. That's what I can do. Oxytocin is the drug of or the medication of today. It's a very vital, very vital one because it's the first medication you'll use for a puppy coming into the world, in my opinion. This is what you would use to induce contractions. So if you have a female, you think she's done, she's tired, the way you can be on the safe side, you give her a shot of oxytocin, make sure she's empty or she's done. It helps contract the uterus, push everything back out. And it also induces letdown. So it brings um, milk. It brings milk. It, milk yeah. production because just like in a woman, when um, they contract, they make milk. And when um, an, an animal, a puppy, a, a baby's nursing, you you start to have cramps or contractions. Yes, so contractions. So uh, the dosing, I can't really give it to you because it's illegal. But if you buy one of these, I'll just tell you that you're not supposed to exceed more than four units per day. That's not four cc's, guys. It's point four. I'm not saying what it is. <laughs> I'm just telling you it's not to exceed four units per day. And that's what this says every 24 hours. You're not supposed to exceed more than four units because each bottle is different. I can't tell you what four units is for you on your bottle versus my bottle. Oxytocin is, I believe, a drug that you can buy over the counter. It's not that expensive. I want to tell you a bottle of it's like 25 bucks. Um, it's a good drug to have, a good medication to have on hand. Um, so what are handy. what are some other indications for oxytocin? Like, what are some other purposes that you might use it? So you mentioned if Milk your dog and giving birth. Okay. Now, if you've had a C-section, you can use it to help with all the discharge. A lot of times, you have a C-section. There's a lot of random discharge, and I've had people, man, she's still discharging a day later. Is there something wrong with her? No, she's literally just had surgery. Yeah. And they don't clean every piece of, you know, debris out. They just cut the puppies out and they leave the rest. But yeah. So, so I mean, by the way, when pe I, I always like to refer to people with dogs, when people have um, a baby, women, even, you know, whether cesarean or natural uh, delivery, you still have, you still have discharge for up to a month, at least, if not six weeks. So... If your mom has a whole litter, um, you can expect there to be discharged. I wouldn't give her oxytocin just to make sure everything's clean, you know? No, I'm not saying that, but I know that it's, it can be used to help produce milk. Yeah. To, or to switch from colostrum to milk. Right. But, uh, but why would you want to rush that also? It's not about rushing it. Some dogs just don't do it fast enough. They can only pr process colostrum, which is the first few drops of sticky clear like uh, it looks like um, pus or plasma I don't know what it would I don't know it's just not milk. so um, and if you want to switch from serum I'm not serum from colostrum to milk it is definitely a way to do it it helps speed the process up right and you just got to be careful with that because if you speed the process up too fast sometimes the, the puppies they've learned to suck that hard to get colostrum out and then they start sucking that hard on milk and they can get upper respiratories yeah. It's a big thing, whole another whole not other to scare video. Nobody, but you know, oxytocin was today's medication. It is really I use it when it comes to having puppies. I use it as far as making milk, you know, helping make milk. Then I use it to make sure she's empty and cleaned out. That's all I use it for. And if it was up up to me, I would never use it. I do use it like one shot, and that and that's just how it we differ. It clear out. Yeah, that's just how we differ because I know what it feels like <laughs> to be shot up with something and it makes you contract it's painful so you know but but medically there's purpose for it so you use it liberally Again, i mean not liberally this book will be this use book it is... as little as possible but yeah. in my opinion okay so like real quick let's talk about um i've heard i've heard hear of people using oxytocin between puppies because they feel like the dogs are not delivering fast enough so uh the rule of thumb if you ask your veterinarian is you shouldn't be worried until after four hours mm -hmm. after four hours or you see a distress or you see feet you know you're looking at it and you see 
you know, the feet hanging out and the head stuck, obviously she's in distress. You need to take her to the veterinarian. Um, if you see green fluid leaking out, she may be, she may be in distress. I'm not trying to freak yeah, you out. Yeah, green drainage is normal. So what I tell my family, green means go. When you see green, there's time. You see black, you're too late. Well, sometimes. Oh yeah, a whole nother <laughs> whole nother video. But there could be one puppy that either died or the placenta's detached, and you know that you see that leakage coming out, and the rest of the litter might be okay. So, so we had that thing with Truth. Remember, she was getting really sick, but she yeah. still had the rest of her litter. So yeah. So I don't know. Excuse me. That's just what I do with uh, oxytocin. Um, and then I'll give you some more, you know, I'll try to do daily with different medications that I personally use on a daily basis. I will look into um, what I use to help create milk would be the next one. All right. Like, follow, and share. <laughs>